And the Flying Jets aren't the only ones playing for a trip to Lucas Oil Stadium tomorrow night. The Bishop Dwinger Saints will be doing the same. For most seniors on BD's roster, it'll be their third career appearance in the state finals. But for Toby Eke, it'll be the first, just like this entire season has been. Peter Hood has that story. Well, if you went out and watched Bishop Dwinger football play back in August, Toby Eke certainly stood out, but not exactly in a good way. His first carry it was a rugby ball, you know, hanging out this way. And first flag he saw, he went over and picked it up and handed it to the, uh, to the referee. But go watch Eke and the Saints now, and it's a totally different story. The confidence in him is growing with our team, and so uh, we're going to look to continue to give him some of the load and see how, see how he does. Right now, he's doing quite well especially for a guy that had never picked up the pigskin prior to this season. I started like not knowing anything about football. I never played it, never really watched it. And then I just come here every day. The coaches are with me. They're talking to me, teaching me. Players, everyone, like Hayden Ellinger, you know, he's just out here from the beginning, just like helping me. Ellinger's not the only one either. Toby, there's no step. It's just straight hey, come on. This whole team has had a hand in teaching this converted soccer standout about a different type of football. He's a kid that overthinks a lot. He overanalyzes. He's really smart. He gets good grades. So we, we simplified it for him and told him how to think and how to play. And he's really used that knowledge and grown between the years. And that growth culminated with a championship performance last Friday. 20 carries. 122 yards and two touchdowns for Eke, helping the Saints claim their third consecutive regional title. It was amazing. I I couldn't even comprehend it. It was just it was just amazing. If someone had told you before the season that you were going to score two touchdowns in a regional championship game, what would you have said? I would have said no way, no way. <laughs> no one was happier for him than I was and the coaching staff. Uh, we knew he had the talent. We knew he had the speed and the power and things like that. It was just all the, the little things of the game. It's been fun watching him grow and mature, but uh, he's ready to go now. And no matter what happens in semi-state on Friday, it won't be the end for Eke. His football journey is just getting started. Peter Hood, Fox 55 Sports.